very good morning to one and all once again welcome to economic class this is the revision class today is 16 january 2021 here we are going to do the revision of the chapter number 3 in the chapter number 3 we are going to see the following points which will make you crystal clear and ideas related to poverty as challenge moving further in this chapter already we had seen what is poverty how poverty is affecting the people's life in this presentation we are going to do the revision of question answer as well as we are going to do the preparation for the final examination also next the chapter poverty as a challenge speak the poverty is a very very big challenge which leads a very miserable life to the people the chapter poverty as a challenge in the revision part we are solving the exercise once again the exercise question number 1 2 3 like that we are going to do but how the question will appear in the examination that also we are going to see so please stick to the point here first question we are going to see describe how the poverty line is estimated in india as in our previous presentation only we discussed about what is poverty line and how it is estimated in india in our gist of the chapter where i summarized all the points if you are studying properly all these points then surely you are going to write the answer very properly and effectively next describing how the poverty line is estimated in india this question can be asked in the examination for 3 marks the student those who have already written this question and answer in their notebook they are not allowed to write rewrite this answer but those who are still remaining to write it and understand it please do so take any notebook and write the question answers and prepare for the final examination let's check out the answer so here the answer is speaking a person is considered poor if his or her income or a consumption level falls below a minimum level whatever the minimum level is given it's falling low necessary to fulfill the basic need the minimum levels is called the poverty line in india the poverty line is estimated by multiplying the prices of physical quantities like the food clothing footwear fuel light education etc in rupees the numbers involved in determining the poverty line varies for different year also the poverty line for rural area is different from the urban areas because the work lifestyle and expenses are different for rural and urban area so here i will take out the point only for the work which is based according to the lifestyle of the people residing in rural and urban area so the poverty line is estimating and it's going to be explained by number of the calorie intake in the rural area and urban area and then the people is estimated whether they are above poverty line or falling under the criteria of below poverty line the calorie intake of the rural and urban area if they are not fulfilling that moving toward next question this question already i had explained you this is only the reference part you have to write your own answer do you think the present methodology of poverty estimates is appropriate so if you are speaking yes you have to write the answer if you are not thinking so then also you have to 
write the answer. This is the question you have to do by yourself. Okay, moving toward the next question. Question number three. Describe poverty trends in India since 1973. This question is basically of facts and figures. In that number of the figures and facts you have to remember, please see it. The answer which is here. Answer. The economic survey of 2017 and 18. Dear cadets, you have to always remember the facts and figure plus from which source you are taking the data. In economics, whatever the data if you are placing or writing in examination, you have to refer from which source you have taken. Okay? So, the economic survey of 2017-18 shows although the poverty has declined in India, the number of poor still remain very high. The poverty ratio of 1993-94 for both rural as well as the urban areas together with at 45% and the ratio of for the year 2011 and 12 has declined down to 22%. However, the topic of concern still remains that there has not been any massive decline in the number of poor living in the country. From 404 million people population in both the rural and urban areas together in 1993 to 94, the poor population till 2011 and 12 remained to be 270 million for the both rural and urban. The survey clearly tells that the concerned authority must take some serious steps in order to make India a country which is going to be free from poverty. Children, please see the answer properly, write the answer properly and let me know. Please see it. Next, moving further, question number four. This question is very important. Every year this question is asked in the examination for five marks or three marks. Discuss the major reasons for poverty in India. So, the discuss the major reasons or it can be asked, describe the various causes for poverty in India, right? So already this point, the major reasons for poverty in India, we had seen in our previous presentation where we explained the whole chapter in a shorted manner. Let's check out the answer. As this is the slide presentation, I haven't placed the points at a different, different level like point 0.1, point 0.2 the space is less that's all the major reason of poverty in india for our country the major reasons here first one the low level of economic development under the british period so you have to mention about the historical reason first one is the low level of economic development under the colonial government or the colonial rule which we are already knowing all the British peoples were using the economic resources of our country for their own welfare. And our economic level was very, very low. Second, the policies of the colonial government was traditionally and was for the handicraft and they discouraged the handicraft material, the peoples were having the traditional job and they used to discourage the development of the industries like textile, which you remember that Mahatma Gandhi also opposed and started the non-cooperation movement. So all the first point is speaking towards the policies and program made by the Britishers in their favor and so that there was a low level of economic development of our country. Second, the spread of green revolution created many 
job opportunity for the people in country yet there were not sufficient in comparison to the number of job seekers this was also one of the point the green revolution created many job opportunity for the people of the country yet there were not sufficient in the comparison to the number of job seekers it means the burden of population the population is continuously increasing and increasing and the job seeker are more and the jobs are very less already we had seen this topic under the unemployment unequal distribution of land and resources is another important factor for poverty in india so the resources of land and the other resources they are unequally distributed the rich are becoming more rich and more rich richer and richer and the poor are becoming poorer and poorer so the distribution of this land and resources is not equal in india that's why also poverty is there in india in order to fulfill the social obligation and religious ceremony people used to spend a lots of money it means in the marriage that other ceremonies they used to have more amount of money and spending as a result they become poor and they suffer from poverty because they don't have that much amount of money so they used to move towards the landlord or the money lender and they will suffer in the debt payments next inequality in income of the people is also a major reason for poverty moving towards the next point these were the points which speaking the reasons for poverty in india identify the social and economic group which are most vulnerable to poverty in india so which are the group members let's check out the answer so the answer is in front of you so the social group which are most vulnerable to poverty in india are scs sts that means the scheduled caste household scheduled tribe household the economic group which are not vulnerable to the poverty in india are the rural agricultural labor household and the urban casual labor household moving towards the next question question number 6 given account of interstate disparities of poverty in india so here is the answer in our previous class already we studied the interstate disparity of poverty in india the question can be asked for 5 marks or 3 marks in the examination you have to frame the points and you have to remember the facts and figures related to this question poverty in india differs for different states the success rate of reduce poverty varies from state to state causing interstate disparities in poverty level orissa bihar madhya pradesh are the three poorest states in india with their people living below the poverty line 47 42 and 37% respectively jammu and kashmir punjab himachal pradesh are three bet of state in india as far as poverty in concern the various factor that are responsible for these interstate disparities of poverty in india okay so here the question is clear and the answer is clear to you moving towards the next question question number 7 describe global poverty trends if this question is going to be asked in the examination what you are going to write in that so let's check out the answer this question can also be asked for 5 marks or 3 marks please see the answer the answer look very big but you have to write the answer in a point in the examination the first paragraphs are speaking about the poverty or the poorest states in india still i am going to read out and explain you the answer the success rate of reducing poverty varies from state to state causing interstate disparity 
in the poverty lane. Orissa, Bihar and Madhya Pradesh, which we had seen this answer in the previous answer of the question. Next, I am leaving up to here the Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab, Himachal Pradesh because in the previous question already we had seen this answer. There has been a substantial reduction in the global poverty. Poverty decline in China and Southeast Asian country as a result of rapid economic growth and huge investment in the development of human resources. Already we have seen what is human resource, which type of human resource development and so on, right? The chapter number second, people as a resource. In Latin America, the ratio of poverty remained almost the same. In the sub-Sahara African, poverty saw an upward trend rather than a down. So here you can see where the poverty ratio is moving upward and downward. And few facts and figures are there. It rose from 41% in 1981 to 46 in 2001. Right? So poverty has surfaced as in some of the former socialist countries like Russia. So like that, the answer you can frame. Moving to the next question. Describe current government strategy of poverty elevation. So here we are going to see the poverty elevation program. So there are a number of the poverty elevation program. In our previous class only, we had discussed all this point, point by point. Let's see. Removal of poverty has been one of the major objective of the India development. So the Indian development strategy in that the current anti-poverty strategies of the government is based broadly on two plans being. This all are given in the textbook. These are the textbook language from that I had taken. In that the various schemes and policies are here. Just like Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act 2005, Swarna Jayanti, Gram Suraj Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Gramode Yojana, Prime Minister Rojgar Yojana, which in our previous call I was calling its primary, has been introduced by the government and an aim of to abolish poverty from our country. Moving toward the next question. Answer the following question briefly. What do you understand by human poverty? So human poverty, already I explained you. What is poverty? It's a situation in that a person is unable to fulfill the basic needs of the life. And what are they? They are food, shelter, clothing, etc. So this answer, you can frame it in your own sentence and write the answer. I'm leaving up to you. Question number second. Who are the poorest of the poor? So, the poorest are poor of ten. They are women, female, infants, and elderly are considered the poorest of the poor because they are dependent on the other peoples for their well-being and living. Next, what are the main features of National Rural Guarantee Act 2005? which here already I stated you that will come as Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act 2005. So the feature you can check out here. Already I explained this points in detail. You please write the features. Next, at the last, I want to tell you about that. This chapter is very, very valuable to understand about the poverty and how the poverty is becoming a major challenge to you and what the role of government is there, right? Just this question speaking, one of the policy and program the government initiated to reduce the poverty, okay? So dear cadets, please do all the question answers very properly in your notebook. If you already did that, no need to do that and do the revision part and try to get the points how to write the good answer. Till then, be safe and secure at your home. 
thanking to each and everyone for watching my videos and please do the revision very well thanking once again jai hind to one and all